Hey folks, it's Chad here with Airstream in Greensboro. I'm really excited because I have a video. I'm about to make a video that I've been wanting to make for a while now. But, the, well, the problem is you guys have been buying all of our inventory. So I haven't had a 27 or 25 of uh, kind of the main floor planes. And that's what I've been wanting to do is to make a comparison video between the Flying Cloud, the International, and the Globetrotter. And this is the first time in a full year of me making videos that I actually have a 27-foot Flying Cloud, a 27-foot International, and a 27-foot Globetrotter. Now, I'd love to like stage all this out and like go really into making this long video, uh, but the reality is we'll probably sell one of those before I'm able to actually set that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fairly quick video. Uh, it's probably not going to be quick at all because let's be real. Uh, Chad <laughs> never makes quick videos, but I'm going to do a walkthrough of the Flying Cloud and point out some things with you and then go into the International, point out a few things, and then I'm going to go into the Globetrotter. And hopefully you'll be able to see the key differences between these three models within the Airstream lineup. All right, let's get started. <music> Starting first with the Flying Cloud. Now, as we come in, these are all going to be 27 front beds. Now, there might be a twin bed or a queen bed, but it's, it's going to be a front bed 27. Now, with the Flying Cloud, we're going to have this really kind of flat-looking um, cabinets here. There is soft close with the cabinet tops. One thing I have noticed, and I'll point this out in the Globetrotter, the radio on the Flying Cloud is here. It's a JL Audio. It's a great radio, sounds really good. All your connections for your infotainment and stuff is gonna be right here in this area. Um, now we do have some good storage. The Flying Cloud's not gonna have any lights that light up or anything like that. There's no mirrors, but you have nice cabinets with soft clothes. You're also gonna see a different style cushion as we move up the model line. So the Flying Cloud, you're gonna have kind of cool, I would say neutral colors. This is going to be um, kind of a starting point. It lets you be able to add some of your own flair and color to the Airstream uh, when you decide to decorate it. As you move up in the line, we're going to see a few differences uh, as far as colors and things like that. Now, let's look at the kitchen area. This is going to be different as we move up. We're going to see more drawers as we move up. Now, on the Flying Cloud, we're going to have a Formica countertop here. Uh, as we go to the International, it's going to be a Corian countertop. You're going to have a different sink faucet. Remember, your color cabinets, the cabinet colors are all going to be different. Even these hangers are going to be different as we move up into the lines. Now, the International and Flying Cloud for 2024 are all going to have the GEACs. There's the front one that controls that. We're also going to have the same 8 cubic foot refrigerator right there. Uh, now, in the 27s, we have this great storage area for the 27. Now, the 25, all the way across, you're going to see a smaller storage area right here. But for the 27s, we have this great storage area. Uh, you can see the stove top there, the convection microwave. You have nice drawers here with, uh, with this style hardware on the Flying Cloud. And then moving back, the closets are going to be very similar because you're going to have a double wardrobe here. We're going to have a very similar shower between the floor plans. Now, you will see a little bit of difference here in the bathroom as we look at uh, the different floor plans. But again, it's going to be very similar as far as floor plan goes. Really, what's going to change is going to be things like uh, your touch and finishes, your sink faucets, your hardware, those types of things, and then some of your colors as well. And then this is the twin bed option here in this 27 front bed queen i mean sorry front bed flying cloud uh, sometimes i'll lose my train of thought uh, we'll have wardrobes opposing wardrobes on the 27 foot that is going to be pretty much standard as we go through the different floor plans so this is the flying cloud now one big thing that's going to be different on the flying cloud that's on the outside versus the international is going to be that manual awning as opposed to the power the zippy awning now, when we go to the Globetrotter, it's going to be a powered zippy awning as well as a powered stabilizers, but manual stabilizers on both. All right, so let's pop over to the International. 
Now, as I move to the inside of the International, the only thing I really want to show out here is going to be the powered zip de-owning. The International is going to have the powered awning. The Flying Cloud is going to be the manual uh, zip de-owning. And then the Globetrotter will be the powered zip de-owning, but also it's going to be power stabilizers. Uh, the Flying Cloud International is going to be a manual stabilizer. Now, everything else on the outside is pretty much the same. So we'll move right to the inside. You're immediately going to see some different colors. We'll see some different hardware. You're even, even going to see different switches as we move through the lines. Um, more switches in some cases. Now, the international, the theme here is going to be, I would say, beach theme. You're going to see beach colors, beach feels. Now, we've got this really nice overhead cabinet. I feel like this is more of the traditional look for Airstream with the sliding plexiglass doors. That's not real glass, it's plexiglass. Now, the same JL uh, audio, same JL audio radios, JL radio, whatever, whatever that's called, same JL radio, but this is all going to be different. You got this really nice laminate here that's, I would say, bright. Um, it's kind of a blue color. Now, this is the aqua interior for the International, the Flying Cloud International. The only real color option you have when you're picking a color is the seat cushions. So there's two on each. Now the Globetrotter, you're gonna have four options. So you get the most options with it. Now, as far as, sorry, I'm just kind of going in a circle here. Your connections are gonna be the same point, but we really have this nice backlighting and the cabinets on the International Flying Cloud is not gonna have that. You're also gonna get a different uh, faucet. We're gonna get different hardware, even your little door hang or close hangers here, coat hangers, key hanger, whatever you might wanna make that. That's gonna also be different. Uh, we have some different style uh, hinges there, or handles there. And, you know, it's mainly this laminate is going to be, the laminate right there is going to be different. We've got the Corian countertop. That's going to be different for the International. Same stovetop, same oven, uh, convection microwave. And you have the same option to have a traditional oven right here or a microwave right here in this section. If you don't do the microwave and do the convection microwave slash oven, you're going to get this extra storage here. Now we're going to also get, and see if I can get this to show on camera, but this different kind of, it's not texture, but different look in the laminate that they add here. But again, the same eight cubic foot refrigerator, the same smart TV, the same GE ACs in this unit, uh, the same filter system in this unit for the ACs. Uh, you're going to have this same size wardrobe, just different hardware right there. And there's the that's the cover for the sink. Now, this one happens to be the hatch. You can get the hatch on the Flying Cloud or the International. You cannot get the hatch on the Globetrotter. So the table is going to be a little bit different in this one uh, because of the, the hatch. But normally, it would be the same table as the Flying Cloud. Storage is basically going to be the same underneath all around with the, the International to the Flying Cloud, same as your cushions back here. You're gonna have that little cushion back there that kind of brings those forward, makes that more comfortable. Now this is the queen bed, and I do have a video that compares the twin bed versus queen bed. Now I'll, I'll link that above so you can jump into that if you want to. But in this area, because it's the queen bed, we're not gonna have the wardrobe here to give room to get around, neither on the other side, but we are gonna have the Really nice cabinets above with the sliding doors and lights. I like the back light. Now I will say when that's on and you've got stuff up there, you're probably just seeing that stuff. So that may not be the best thing, but you know, I guess that's a probably a per personal preference. But you are gonna have for Micah countertops here in the bedroom, as well as the bathroom. You also have for Micah countertops there. But you're gonna have different hardware in here. You're gonna have a different faucet. Uh, and then everything else is pretty much the same. I think it's the same tower, same towel rack right there. Now, one thing I do like on the International is the port window for the bathroom. I, you, that you don't see this on every model. So this is International. You see it on the Globetrotter, uh, but not on the Flying Cloud. Now the shower is going to be be the same as well. So I would say your main changes, obviously colors, but also your hardware, uh, your kitchen countertops are going to be Corian your different faucets, uh, a different style cabinet with the back lights in there as well. But then also a lot of similarities, the power awning is gonna be different, but a lot of similarities to the Flying Cloud.
So let's jump over to the Globetrotter because that's where I think we're going to see the biggest change as far as the floor plans go. Now I think moving into the Globetrotter, this is where you're going to see the most change or difference between the three 27 foot front beds. So twin bed again, I'm glad I was able to show queen bed at least in the 27. Um, now with the Globetrotter, you're going to have four colors. I'll try to throw those up. So you can kind of see the differences. I think this is dark walnut uh, is the wood choice here. So it's basically two wood choices and then two uh, like alternate color choices. Now, one of the big differences on the Glowtrotter, we're going to have this really nice built out with that, that walnut looking color. Now, that's a light, a light Italian plywood. That's not actually walnut or anything like that. And then it's going to continue all the way around. So one of the nice things about the 27 Glowtrotter is the way this couch is right here. So I've got it set up in kind of the U-shaped dinette setup so I can sit around if I want to, but under this cushion is another table. And I can bring this table up with that additional leg and have a traditional style dinette right here. Or if the cushion's down, you can turn this this way. If you wanna still kind of have that cushion there, that have a more traditional look uh, as far as the table goes. So you have a little bit more flexibility with the Globetrotter. Now that may not be something that you like. One of the negatives I'll say to this setup is this cushion right here has to go somewhere as well as the additional cushions to make this into a sleeping area there. And I'll show you where those are in a second. But that's gonna be one of your big differences. Now storage underneath seems to be pretty much the same. We're going to have, again, that kind of cabinet build out up here up, up top. Now, what I do like about this, if you're the type of person who likes to stage kind of knickknacks and corners and things, you're definitely going to have the ability to do that with the Globetrotter because you've got that kind of additional shelf behind the cushion. Now, what I think, and again, this is my opinion, I don't think this couch is as comfortable as, and I'll just turn the camera around, as comfortable as the International Flying Cloud. Part of that is there's not, this is, I mean, this is basically straight up. Um, there's not much, how do you, uh, lean back, I don't know what to call that, lean back or whatever. The other thing I've noticed is the cushion, the seat length here is really deep. So if you're, if you're shorter and you've got shorter legs, this may not be super comfortable. Now you have the other cushions you could put right here um, that you're, ultimately going to have to store somewhere but something to think about i really do think the flying cloud uh, and the internationals have more comfortable couches uh if you can say that about uh airstreams now let me flip back around we're gonna have in the kitchen area i'll just stay seated we're gonna have a different setup here so they're gonna build out more drawers and as you can imagine to build this out it does cost a little bit more to do that to do that manufacturing and install so Instead of this being just two doors that open, we're going to have two drawers that pull out. And then over here to the side, we're going to have kind of a smaller door, but it's still a door there. And then a little trash can right there. Now, another thing that changes in some of your switches, so some of your light switches are going to move to this chrome style switch. And then we still have the, um, the same switch for your overhead that's in all three floor plans. That's going to be your overhead lights. These are more of your accent lights right here. Now with the Globetrotter, we're not going to have the, the really cool looking um, sliding glass doors. We don't have that. But what we do have is this really cool light that's over top of the cabinet. And then this cabinet is going to, they call this the European styling. So this is going to be one of the other changes. So more curves. So this door, the door even has a curve in it right there, as you can see. And it kind of curves around and wraps around the, uh, the cabinet itself right there. There are lights inside of these cabinets. There's also mirrors inside of these cabinets right here. And that allows you, as you can see here, to kind of look down into the contents that you have up here and be able to see a little bit better. The other change, and I... Not sure how I feel about it, um, but instead of having the JL Audio Radio right here, we're going to actually have a speaker here. And I do like that. I like that the speakers are facing this way. 
as the being as opposed to being down here and then shooting straight down. I find on my flying cloud I have those speakers. And again, if you haven't watched my my video about me getting a flying cloud, I'll I'll link that above if you want to go watch it. Uh, one of the things I noticed on that is where the speakers shoot straight down. It's not the best setup for sitting at the dinette or even laying in the bed because the speaker's right over top of you. I like this setup better. I'd rather have the music kind of pointing into the room as a point as opposed to pointing straight down. And then you're going to have a different radio. Now this is the same radio I think they put in the classic as well. It's a fusion radio. It's got Sirius XM capabilities. It's got Wi-Fi capabilities, uh, Bluetooth, all that kind of stuff. Um, kind of, a, I mean, it's a nice radio. It has more capabilities than the JL audio. I really like the way the JL sounds. And of course, we've got the USB. We've got the data connection. That's all right here. It's all in the same spot as the Flying Cloud International, but they add this compartment up here. And this is the thing that I'm not sure that I like because this is just taking up cabinet space. I think I like the radio being out here or being somewhere out and then but keep the speaker there and then just put these plugs back up here just like it is on the International Flying Cloud. You guys tell me what you think. Now this does not have, these cabinet doors don't, they, there's no soft close. They're just gonna close. They don't close super hard, but they're just gonna close. So that's something to know. The Flying Cloud, you're gonna have the soft close, but the, um, the Globetrotter, you're not gonna have soft close. And then of course the International is a sliding door, so that's not gonna be uh, soft close either. And then same cabinet style up here with the doors that open up. We've got the mirror and the lights, which is really nice. And then the light above, I like that too. Again, another faucet, so a third style faucet right there. And it, we're gonna also have different hardware for all your cabinets, even where you're gonna hang your keys, that's gonna be different. Um, trying to think what else. There's a little storage cubby right there. That same 12 volt smart TV. And then the solar charge controller is gonna move to here. Uh, as opposed to being on this side, as well as your sea level. I personally think that's just where they should be. Uh, these three controls are actually over there on the Flying Cloud and the International, and they're over here on the Globetrotter. That's just where they should be, like, period. Same 8-cubic-foot refrigerator, but again, you're going to have the option for different floor styles, different cabinet colors, different, different countertop colors, um, that you don't have that option necessarily with the other floor plans. And again, the same, same wardrobe storage. I didn't measure this, but it just it looks the same to me as a double wardrobe. Now for those poles, if you do take the bed out, there is a spot right here to store those poles when you are not using them as a table. This is also gonna have the convection microwave option. So we're gonna have that storage there. They'll have a, a example of the oven to show you, at least in this video. Um, same oven countertop, same exhaust fan. Now the lights do change as we go through the different floor plans. Uh, there's an LED light back here that's running along behind this cabinet. And then these lights right here also change. There's a kind of a puck light here. This is the same style of light that's on the International. And then the Flying Cloud has a flat light, kind of straight light that goes straight back right there. It's, they're all LEDs. Now the Globetrotter is also going to have these really cool little trash cans here in the kitchen that you don't get on the International and the Flying Cloud. And again, that goes back to the European styling. They mentioned in some of the material that Airstream produced about the Globetrotter of how um, in, I guess in Europe, a lot of the chefs like to have those built into their countertops. And then as you're kind of chopping up, you can just push your waste right into that waste basket. And you can also use those to store other things like drinks and so forth. And you're gonna have a really nice stainless steel undermounted sink here. That's also dampened, which is really nice. Uh, there is a Corian countertop that fits right in here as well. Um, moving to the back, I think the bathroom shower is pretty much the same. Yep, same same shower spigot. The of course the bathroom does kind of change a little bit. Um, we're gonna get a different laminate again in here. This almost it looks like cloth, but it's not. It's it's just a laminate, and we do have a different shower curtain or uh, shower excuse me uh, towel well towel hanger here for your 
towels to dry your hands and then a different style hardware here for your towels behind the commode area. Of course, a different faucet for your sink. Same surface amount of sink here. You have Formica countertops in here as well. Uh, that's one thing I would like to see them do, at least at this price point, have Corian countertops in here. I'd also like them to have more solar on top. They're all going to be 300 watts. The cabinet space is going to look very similar in here. Just a different style cabinet color laminate here. And again, they're using all light Italian plywood with a laminate on top. And then moving into the bedroom, again, you're going to have that style uh, compartment going across the top with the speakers facing out, which I'd much rather have on my Flying Cloud. On my Flying Cloud, the speakers and all the Flying Clouds, the speakers are right here and they face straight down onto your head. So when you're trying to listen to music at night, um, you've got to have it really quiet. Otherwise, it's blowing straight down at your head. Now, it does have, with the Globetrotter, this really nice cushion that goes around the back of the bed. I like that. Now, one of the things that I don't like about the Globetrotter is going to be these cushions. So these cushions are here to help make the couch into a bed and the dinette into a bed when you're using that configuration. But the problem with these cushions, well, you've got to store them somewhere when you're not using them. And most of the time, you're not using these cushions because you're, you're using the dinette as a dinette. So you got to put them somewhere on the 27. There's a little bit of room right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then there's a little bit of room right here on the 27 foot. The 25, you don't have that room. So you just got to store them somewhere. Now with this being the twin bed, we do have the wardrobes opposing. Again, if it was the queen bed, you wouldn't have that. Now one big difference on the Globetrotter is going to be the powered awnings, the powered stabilizers, but this is also going to be a Coleman AC system instead of the GE. And you'll see that change over here under the um, under the TV. That's going to be controlled for both ACs if you have two ACs right there because it's going to be a Coleman AC instead of the GE AC. But same TVs that you get on uh, on the Flying Cloud International. Even the now one thing I didn't point out. Let me go to the front. I think it'll be easier to do it up here on the International and the Flying Cloud. Instead of there being one, let me get this thing pulled across. Okay, there we go. Instead of there being one curtain that goes across, there's two curtains for this section here, and then two curtains for this section here. So you kind of pull this one to the middle if you want to, or you can pull it all the way around and then pull that one to this side. This side. With the Globe Trotter, it's one long curtain, and for some reason, I guess that is more luxurious to Airstream, but that is one of the changes or one of the differences, I should say, between uh, the Flying Cloud International Globetrotter, you can have this one long curtain, and this is the same way uh, in the bedroom area as well. Uh, now we have the rain sensor style Max Air Vent. This is a Max fan. I'm gonna go check. I don't think we get the Max Air Vent on the Flying Cloud. I want to check that real quick. And that's really that's really all of your differences on the International Flying Cloud and Globetrotter. Let me go check the fan and see if those are different, and I'll let you know. So I did. I checked the Flying Cloud and the International the on the fan covers because I feel like that's fairly important. So the Flying Cloud is a Dometic um, fan that is, is powered. You flip a little switch, and then it go up on its own. You can adjust the fan speeds. You can adjust when it turns on based on temperature, things like that. But it doesn't have the rain sensor in it. The International and Globetrotter both have the Max Air Vent with the rain sensor. You can look up there, and it actually will show like a little logo uh, with the rain sensor on it. Uh, but that's a that's a change. That's a difference. And actually, <laughs> that's a, surprisingly for me, I think that's a fairly big difference. I hate that the Flying Cloud doesn't have the Max Air vent as well with the rain sensor you know just at that price point why not i mean i, I know it's they've got to build distinction between uh, price points now on the outsides of these man they they look the same you've got to know what to look for of course look for the logo for international flying cloud or globetrotter 
Uh, of course, you can look at the ACs because the Glowtrotter is going to have the, um, the Coleman versus the GE. And the GE does stick out to me. Um, it's really easy to pick that one out. But never mind the fact that uh, it says GE, like massively says GE on it. Um, but that is kind of the main differences with the Flying Cloud, the International, and the Globetrotter. Now, you guys, the, the Airstream community is incredible. And I know you guys know every single difference. I, I, I just thought of one. Of course, your awnings are going to look different. Uh, the Flying Cloud to the International, you go to, to a, um, uh, what's that called? Ugh. Sunbrella. Sunbrella fabric. And then the Globetrotter has a sun, sunbrella, sunbrella fabric with the awnings. Uh, and there's different colors and so forth, too. Um, so that, that, that's a big change, too, that it goes to the sunbrella. But anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. The Airstream community, you guys are incredible. I know you're going to know some things, maybe things that's even hard to see um, that's different about them. So drop down into the comments. Leave in there a, anything I miss, anything that you think is important that's going to be different about the three uh, the Flying Cloud International Globetrotter. I just want to say thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Feel free to come by Airstream in Greensboro. We have an incredible team here. We'd love to help you uh, in your Airstream journey, whether it's uh, getting a part, uh, service, or buying your next Airstream. We'd be happy to take care of you. Other than that, you guys live riveted, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.